the, you can't form a government without meeting the LG. Whoever whoever has to stake claim will have to meet the LG. अगर बिना LG से मुलाकात की हुए या हकुमत बना सकते थे, तो हमने छह साल पहले ही हकुमत बना ली होती, लेकिन वो वो सूरतेहाल बन नहीं सकती। तो पहले जैसे मैंने कहा, legislative party की meeting होने दीजिए, alliance की meeting होने दीजिए, उसके बाद जो leader तय होता है, वो LG साहब से वक्त लेके LG साहब से मुलाकात करेंगे। अब हमारा हमारा सियासी मौकूफ बदलेगा नहीं। हमने कभी ये नहीं कहा कि हम 370 पे खामोश रहेंगे या 370 हमारे लिए अब मुद्दा रहा नहीं। लेकिन हम लोगों को बेवकूफ बनाने के लिए भी तैयार नहीं हैं। मैंने बार-बार आप लोगों से कहा है इस इलेक्शन से पहले भी कि उन लोगों से उम्मीद करना जिन लोगों ने 370 हमसे लिया कि हम उन्हीं से वापस हासिल करेंगे वो बेवकूफी है वो लोगों को धोखा देने के बराबर है हम लोगों को धोखा देने के लिए तैयार नहीं है लेकिन इस मुद्दे को हम जिंदा रखेंगे इस पे हम बात करते रहेंगे और ये उम्मीद करेंगे कि आज नहीं तो कल मुल्क में हुकूमत बदलेगी निजाम बदल जाएगा ऐसी हुकूमत आएगी जिसके साथ हम बैठ इस मुद्दे पे बात कर सकेंगे और कुछ ना कुछ जम्मू कश्मीर के लिए हासिल कर सकेंगे ये मतलब ये नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस की हमेशा से हमारा ये रहा है लायमल और आगे भी यही रहेगा। Not be a government of those that voted for us. It will be a government for every single individual of Jammu and Kashmir, regardless of who they voted for or whether they voted at all. And in that, special emphasis will be placed on giving a sense of ownership and a voice within the government to those areas from where MLAs in this coalition will be less in number. Now, why are you talking about this? Now, I will give you the number of people. Who will call them tomorrow? Who will call them tomorrow? I will only say that one man has talked to us. Our conversation is going on with them. And when they come, they will not be able to keep them with us. When do we expect the government formation? First and foremost, wait for the legislative party meeting, which will take place tomorrow. Subsequent to the legislative party meeting, there will obviously be the alliance meeting. It will determine the leader of the alliance. The leader of the alliance will then, I assume, take letters of support, go to Raj Bhavan, stake a claim, and request the LG uh, to fix a date for the swearing-in. But I would like uh, that to happen as soon as possible, because we've been without an elected government since 2018. Time has come that we get back to work. So the legislative party meeting will be held tomorrow? Inshallah tomorrow. Farooq Saab said that you will be the CEO. I am very grateful for the confidence that he has reposed in me. But that decision is of the legislators to make. It is a decision of the alliance to make. Uh, I love my father dearly and I am very grateful for the support that he has shown me yesterday. Uh, but finally, uh, the say has to be of the legislators and I'm always one to do things uh, by the rules and by the book. This is how the procedure that has to be followed and that's what will be done. But if you become the chief minister, what would be your If talk and but, I, I, I don't, okay, when? you know me, I don't give uh, categorical answers to hypothetical questions. Whichever chief minister uh, is sworn in in the next few days, uh, obviously uh, there will be two sets of priorities. One is legislative, which will be determined by uh, the members of the Legislative Assembly when the session is called. But the other is government related. And I, my own uh, suggestion or my own word of advice to the incoming government would be that the first business of the cabinet should be to pass a resolution asking for statehood to be restored to Jammu and Kashmir and the Chief Minister should travel to Delhi with that resolution, call on the senior leadership of the country and ask them to fulfill their promise because it is the Honorable Prime Minister, the Honorable Home Minister and others who have promised the people of Jammu and Kashmir statehood. Nowhere did they say that statehood will be restored only to a BJP government or statehood will be restored only to a government that should travel to Delhi with that resolution, call on the senior leadership of the country and ask them to fulfill their promise because it is the Honorable Prime Minister, the Honorable Home Minister and others who have promised the people of Jammu and Kashmir statehood Nowhere did they say 
that statehood will be restored only to a BJP government or statehood will be restored only to a government that has BJP members. They said statehood will be restored to JNK and that is what we hope will be done.